Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2021, this is the solution video to question six. So question six is another calculus question. We're given this diagram here. It shows the graph of h prime of x, the derivative of a cubic function. And we're asked to show that h prime of x is equal to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. So it doesn't really matter that this is the derivative of a function. We just need to show that this graph corresponds to this function here. So there's a couple of ways you can go about that. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to factorize this, show that minus 1 and 3 are the factors, uh, or are the roots rather, and then I'm also going to show that y equal to 6 is the y-intercept. So the, der the derivative h prime of x is equal to minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6. I'm going to let that equal to 0. I'm going to multiply or divide across by minus 2. That'll give me x squared minus 2x minus 3 equal to 0. I can then factorize this. So it'll be x and x. And then factors of minus 3 that add together to give you minus 2. They'll be minus 3 and plus 1. So that means x is equal to 3 and x is equal to minus 1, and that's the roots from the diagram. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get the h prime of 0 and see that it's equal to 6. So the h prime of 0 is equal to minus 2 times 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 6 and that should be equal to 6 and you can see we have 0, 0, 6 so 6 is equal to 6 and we can say y intercept from diagram part b then asks us to use h prime of x to find the maximum positive value of the slope of the tangent to h of x. So we have a max at x equal to 1. It's halfway between the roots. That's where the max will be of this graph. So max is at x equal to 1. That's the midpoint of minus 1, 0 and 3, 0. So the h prime of 1 is equal to minus 2 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1 plus 6. That's equal to minus 2 plus 4 plus 6. So that's equal to 8, which is the max slope. So the max slope here is 8, which is just the maximum value of the function and the, the graph of the function. Part C then, the graph of hx passes through the point 0 minus 2 find the equation of h of x. So if we have h prime of x, we need to integrate it to find h of x and then use this point then to find the constant of integration. So I'm going to get the integral of minus 2x squared plus 4x plus 6 dx. So when I integrate this, that is equal to minus 2x cubed over 3. plus 4x squared over 2, plus 6x plus c. And now what I do with this is I will sub in 0 and let it equal to minus 2. So that means I have minus 2 times 0 cubed over 3, plus 4 times 0 squared over 2, plus 6 times 0, plus c, and that's equal to minus 2. That's 0, that's 0, that's 0. So c is equal to minus 2. So now my integral is my original function, h of x. And that's equal to minus 2x cubed over 3. 4x squared over 2 is just 2x squared. Plus 6x plus c. c is minus 2. So that's the equation of h of x. 
Okay, so that was question six. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.